Hello, and welcome to the end of the semester. You know, every class has its own rhythms and its own needs. After looking at the story ideas, it just looks to me like some of you are just right on it. Some of you need a little help developing what the story is going to be. So this week, I, uh, I'm asking for a 25 point draft of your magazine uh, uh, center spread piece, just the content I want this. Uh, the story, couple of pictures, graphics, maps, so you have an idea of what you really are going to do. And so we can be sure that it's gonna to come together because some of these may not work out. So I want you to go out, find your contacts, get some pictures, you know, rough out your story. And if the story's really, really good, then you're done. So I want to give you the chance to do all that. So this week, a draft. And next week, the final story. And the week after that, we'll do the layout. And then after that, we will do the, um, the web version. And that should about finish us up for the semester. Anyway, that's what we're looking at just to give you some ideas. I have, I found a good list of magazine stuff on Pinterest. Um, here are, I thought some very good examples because I want you to understand kind of what we're looking for here. Okay, let's take a look at, here's a good one. You can see dominant element. This is, you know, remember it's gonna be a side-by-side -side page. So we have our pictures here, our uh, copy here, and see how it all fits together again, side-by-side -side pages. We can get a little, some people like to do it like that. Nothing wrong putting all your pictures on one side and your copy on the other. Nothing wrong with that. Um, more ideas. Let's see what else we have rolling down this page. Uh, pretty standard side by side here, big picture here, small picture here, nice box with the story. Nothing wrong with that. Um, we have, let's look at some more. Again, I, I have the link to this posted, so you can kind of get your own ideas. This one's pretty standard. One big picture and a lot of copy. You could put a headline in here. Of course, a lot of them have very little um, copy. You have a headline here and it's all, um, and it's all pictures. But you do got to fill the page. There's another pretty standard one. Big picture, uh, type to the side, and you can, you know, put in pictures or whatnot in there. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, just like I was saying. Big picture on one side, a little bit of art in the middle. There's 
Another way of looking at it, that's uh, an add. Okay, here's another center spread, side by side. Ah, here's pretty standard. It's a one pager. I don't like this dog leg. Things should be squared off. Let's see what else we have down the page. And these are um, let's go back. I was looking for center spreads. Yeah, okay. Here's your standard one. Again, one picture here, a headline. This is pretty straightforward. Because I want you to think about your finished product as you go out and gather your, um, okay, here's a center spread. You can see in the middle, and here's your pictures on top. Does not all have to, um, there's not one way to do this. I want you to be creative. Here is one. Yeah, there's, let's see what other ones we have. Uh, what happened to the one I just, and here's another fairly standard from a cooking one. Again, you can see where the center, where the page folds. Again, you can see on this Pinterest page that I that I posted. You can see what works for you. Now, my big thing is I want you to, um, as you go out and gather, think in advance of what your layout's gonna look like and gather your material and your pictures and your stories to fill the page. And remember, you know, you can leave white space on the outside of these uh, layouts. We will, do a little bit more in depth next week. But I want you to kind of visualize going in. Here's a standard one. Yeah. Story here, pictures over here. You can put a picture in here too. So, yeah, these are the pretty much standard ones. I have the Pinterest page, and I want you to think about that as you start to put it together this week. Simple stuff. It's really up to you to go out and do it. I want, again, the draft, just a, a, a rough draft of your story and a couple pictures just to know that you're on top of it. And next week, I'll give you a little bit more in depth of how to do the layout but I want you to go out and gather and really start on this this week. And next week, I want all your uh, material as of April 1st, all the material needs to be there. And the week after that, you're gonna take it and do a layout. And after that, we make web pages. So that's what's up and coming.